This guide was requested by Payne Sherman. So mission to armory, the first goal of the game. Once Sergeant Johnson gets on the elevator, refuse to get on the elevator until he on, says Chief. please. After you've done that, then go on the elevator and then get you'll find the, the skull lift, located on the crate as you're transporting through the, the area. Waiting, Chief. Fine. You can tell Lord Hood why we're late. Get your shiny green posterior on this elevator. Would it help if I said please? Now look, the Cairo is just one of 300 Geosync platforms. That Mac gun can put around clean through a Covenant capital ship. Now the next achievement we're going to work on is called the Return of the Meg. Even before we start, making sure you have these on. So the Thunder Skull Skull on Legendary Mode. I'd recommend having the Bandana, the Scarab and the Envy. And also to get this achievement, you have to take no damage. You can reload last checkpoint. But if you get hit, then get a checkpoint, you have to restart. If you die, I made sure to reload checkpoint, but I don't think that matters, but I want to do it for my safety. And also one more thing before we skip to the next achievement is the Scarab gun is like a double edged sword. It's great, but then it can also mess your world up as well. So don't get too close when you shoot it. So we're still on mission three, but we're still playing legendary mode. Every single level I'm going to do, unless told otherwise to you, I'm going to play on legendary mode. And the skull is located in the armory just before you leave to fight your next set of enemies. And now, once we've done this part, we're now going to go to the next section. Where so once we go through the or past the armory now, this is where a lot of enemies are located. Now we need to use one of the light fixtures to the right. Any one will work. And now go all the way to the right. And if you're not that great at crouch jumping or jump crouch, I'd recommend going to the far left side because that's slightly oh, lower than this one. Now, as you jump up, making sure you melee this trash can out the way, and that will be your first goal or second goal. Sorry, my bad. Now, now this is where you should get the mega tune. It once you've done the whole level without taking a single hit. As soon as you get in this elevator, you'll get ambushed by locusts. Not locusts. Not Giz War, is it? By Covenant. I didn't have to do much. I was literally just shooting the gun and eventually I kept on getting hit. But when I started shooting the gun, I just got randomly got the achievement in the elevator. So if you for some reason you don't get the achievement, don't be um, discouraged. Just keep on trying it. I have no idea how you actually unlock it. It just unlocked in the elevator randomly for me. And now mission four outskirts. This is probably one of my favorite levels. As we start the level, jump up the light fixture and go left. And you should hopefully find the blind skull. Now we're going to restart the level again. If you can hear me, Chief. Now this one's a pain in the ass. If you have any skulls equipped it, well, for the PC version, I was I wasn't able to get this skull whatsoever. So making sure you have no skulls activated. And now if you do this exactly how I'm doing it, you should hopefully get the checkpoints that is required to get this goal. I don't think it's like any fancy checkpoint list. I think you just have to get the Marines to move up with you. Now, once you get to this location, you don't really have to specifically stand here. But if you want to kill some um, enemies, you can. And it's probably recommended as well. You've got to help the Marines move up anyway. And you should get your second checkpoint when the Pelican just arrives. Now, to stay around this area again, you have to, of course, wait for the Marines. Do their bit. And eventually you should get the next checkpoint. Okay, now jump onto the highway. I did make a boo boo here, as I'm going to leave it in the edit anyway, just so you know you can mess up and you can reload checkpoint. You don't have to do it in one run. So you can grenade jump if you want to, but I just tend to jump on the side here. You don't need to grenade jump. Now run down this little section here. We don't have to kill no one. Just wait around here. So your radar is like the big help because you know when your Marines are moving as well. 
And once you get the next checkpoint, this should be number four. Now go all the way down on top of this roof. And when you go to the right, or just before or after, you will get the next checkpoint. This is number five checkpoint. Now jumping over. Technically, we don't have to kill anyone. Just It's just a waiting period. But if you want to, to speed things up and then take them out. Well, for me, I had troubles killing this elite. And I still didn't kill him. So I gave up. Eventually, I got the checkpoint. And I made another boo-boo now where I jumped and fell. Oh, sorry, I didn't jump. I just walked off. So the last checkpoint, this one was always a pain in the ass. So I just went round in this specific route. Don't think it even matters. Because I always had trouble with this one not working for some reason. And of course you won't get it on your first try. Just keep on trying it. You're just in the final product of uh, what, you can, what you can do. Now jump in and grab your skull. This will teleport you into another area and you'll get ambushed by quite a lot of elites. Now just to be safe, we're going to restart the level again because we don't have to pick up the skull again. I have all my skulls back on what I had before. Bandana, Scarab, Envy. I've got one more on now. I can't remember what it's called though. But anyway, we're going to take the same path in that we did for the skull. This time we're going to go straight on. If you keep going straight, and then on this building here, there will be a destroyed roof. Jump down to find the energy sword. And you'll get the Rex as well. I think uh, about 90% of people played Halo 2 um, would actually found this sword already in the original. So if you actually play this properly now without going on the rooftops, you can go to the Pelican and drop down from there if you want to make it a bit quicker. Eventually in this room, you will find that there's, I think, three to four elites that are stealthed. All you have to do is stick and kill one of them. doesn't matter how you do it as long as you stick someone. And now the last thing for this mission, we are going to get the second terminal. This is located just before we go into the main tunnel. So in this bunker here, there'll be a rocket launcher, I think either above or below. And a sniper rifle, I think, believe up top as well. Now go in the bottom to find the terminal. Well, this is a lovely achievement to do. We're going to get the gold and the scarab lord. You can get the gold doing grenade jumps, but I'm not that good at doing grenade jumps at the moment. So I won't show you that other route to do. So we're going to get set up now to get the scarab gun. So once you eventually you get down to the very bottom of the highway, making sure we have a ghost that we can ride. We need a ghost, or else you can't do it. I believe you can do it with the Warhog, but that, that, that's if you can get it all the way down the bottom without it blowing up. So now once we've got our ghost, we're now going to take out all the Banshees apart from one. Uh, also, I forgot to mention I'm playing on easy mode. Specifically for this achievement. Because I tried Legendary and it's, it's not great to play it on single player trying to do this. Because you don't get no checkpoints from this point until you actually go to the Banshee section itself. So it's really not too bad. So once you're in the Ghost, we have to make sure the Ghost, or sorry, the Banshee follows you. Making sure you don't go too far away or else you will just turn around and go back out. Or he could have a possibility of disappearing. That did happen about five times when I'm trying to do this. And then you'll see a friendly Warhog. If you just take him out, we don't need him. because And also, that Warhog may kill the Banshee. We don't want that to happen. So once you get this part, making sure you stay close to the Banshee. Just, just keep looking at it every few seconds. Make sure it doesn't disappear. If you look away too much, and I believe it will disappear. And that's the barrel of fun as well.
And if you have a smart AI, like I did luckily for this playthrough. So what we need to do, we need to make the Banshee now, make a straight run to the um, area that we need him to go. Making sure we grab the sniper rifle, because this is probably the best gun to use to shoot off the um, little parts, the boost parts, when you call them. So I got quite lucky here. Um, normally you have to make it line up in the middle. Sometimes it wouldn't even go in. But then we need to shoot off the wings. You have to do this because it doesn't fit otherwise. And now we are going to go into the tunnel, making sure you make, make sure, I'm going to say this again, make bloody sure it goes the right direction. And also just let you know, as soon as you hit that lip where the tunnel begins, it will load. Once it does this, you've got like a split second, well, just a second to press board at the ghost. It is not a ghost, it's a banshee. And eventually we're in our banshee. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the goal. I remember seeing this football as well in the original. And now we're going to get the scarab gun located on the very, very tippity top of the map. There are other methods to do the um, scarab gun and the goal. One for the goal, you need to do it like a grenade jump near the building it's located and then keep on climbing up and for the scarab gun there is another method near the very very end I don't like that one mainly because it's time based and you have to do a rocket jump that I'm not too good at it and my easiest method is use the banshee it is a pain in the ass if you're not really good at timing to grab the banshee before it disappears through the loading screen and once we get to the very top and there's your scarab gun it's pretty pointless though if we're using the scrap skull, but anyway, it's a nice thing to have on the original, but you didn't have it for long though. I may as well show you the EEE as well, since I'm on the bench and I'm right next to it. Of course, for this achievement, you do not need the Banshee. I'm just showing you right now simply just because I have it on me. So this is the location of the EEE sign. So you have to change between the original and remaster graphics and you'll get it. I will show you the original method just because um, you don't really need to have the Banshee. So I will show you after we get this skull. Now we need to go on legendary mode. I have all the skulls activated the game. Once you get in this opening, there is about between seven to eight snipers in this area, maybe more. Making sure you have the, I think it's like Sputnik, or whatever it's called, skull to make a double jump higher with the grenades. I just call it the Spunk Skull. Yeah, we're up. And also make sure you use the original graphics because if you go on the left or right side, you'll just fall right through. I did do this before when I was playing cult with a friend. I just died. And once you go around to the left, you will find your catch goal. Right, so this is the original method to get the EEE. So once you're in the very last section where there's three race spawn and then your marine folks are in the building in front of you. Now take the path off to the left and then this is where the sign is located. All right, so in the same area, so once you dealt with all the wraiths, and now your objective is to go inside the building where your marine friends are. Follow the objective, can't really miss it. Go up the stairs, don't go right, go left, you'll find your next terminal. As soon as we dropped in. Who's in charge now? Now we're going to mission six, the Arbiter. The first terminal is located in this conveyor type room. There will be a lot of heretics in this room. And then you can either jump up the objects or you can go around to the bottom and go up the stairs to get to this terminal. This one's not really hard to find, so I don't have to explain much. 
And now we're going to get two achievements. We're going to get the one for the skull, and we also should get the dirty bird achievement. This is also, I'm not saying it's missable, or it's not, because you have to actually go on the banshee. So you'll get this as soon as you enter this banshee for that dirty party. Dirty birdie. So as you've just seen, when we get on the banshee, we can go straight down, and underneath here you will find some grunts. Now pick up the skull and then feel free to kill them if you want to, or just leave them dancing. Mission 7, the Oracle. As we start the mission, the first agent we're going to get is called 10 minutes too early. Recommended to have your spunk skull on so you can do the grenade jump a lot higher. I believe there's enough of method to get up there, but I, I can't find it. So the only thing I have to do is the goddamn grenade jump that I'm not a big fan of. I tend to kill myself the most time, but with this uh, skull, it makes it a little bit easier. And then if this actually took me a lot longer as well, about almost half an hour. because I'm so bad at grenade jumps. But as soon as you get up there, you'll get the achievement 10 minutes too early. Now the skull and the terminal are in the same location, or the same area, I should say. As we get to this area where there's turrets in the middle and there's flood everywhere. Jump down into the room, jump on this small overturned object. And they'll do a jump crouch. Once you're up here, you'll find a blink. I think it's like four to five blood that's laid down on the floor, surrounded by the famine skull. Now, Terminal 5, once we drop down now and go behind the wall to your right, this will be number five. He never gets me anything. This one's self-explanatory, just don't get in the vehicle. Chief, Wraith's on the far side. But you have to do this twice anyway. So once you get down to the compound where you need to um, lower the bridge, there will be a few ghosts that you can get on beforehand. Making sure you haven't destroyed them, of course. Now once you've done that, proceed back up where you came from. And then go up this mountain. And now the Master Chief toy is located on the far right hand side of the mountain area, but can become difficult to get to. Just don't go very fast, just take your time, because if you go too fast, you will just randomly die. I think it's because you go so damn fast down this slope, you can die instantly, because it thinks you're falling, but you're not. There you go, this is the part. Now make sure you face the um, upwards position and then keep boosting every so often. If you don't, you will die. Now once you have reached the bottom, now go all the way to the very bottom of this mountain bit. Right to the very edge. And then if you're in the enhanced graphics, you will find the Master Tooth Story. And now this terminal is located just before you uh, press the switch to lower the bridge down. In the same room as the switch. Can't miss it. Envy Skull. Once you have ridden the tank and you finally got to your final destination. Nothing really much to explain here, but your main objective is to get inside the middle section just to the right. But before we do that, if you stay to the left, you may have some, not issues, but you may have some spawning grunts as soon as you go down the steps, but don't worry, you can take them out pretty easy. So now let's do some grenade jumping. And there we go, you'll find the Envy Skull, and then this will be the achievement as well. Oh, and also you'll see some invisible elites as well. This one is also self-explanatory, just making sure you equip the skull before you start the level. Mission 9, The Regret. 
so once we spawn we should have already a sniper rifle on hand I, I believe we do if not we need one let's go find one there is a sniper around here somewhere so for this one we have to do a grenade jump over so making sure you have your spunk skull on <laughs> but yeah once you get to this door the first pillar to your left, you have to be in the original graphics to be able to see the high bend. This took me a minute to realize what I'd done wrong, but we finally get it. And now in the same place, or the same area I should say, not the place. So once you leave the door, we now need to make another grenade jump. If you are playing cult with a friend, then just jump on his head. And then once you grenade jump up, go to the enhanced graphics to find the next toy. Now the next thing we're going to find is the Assassin Skull. Now once we ride, I believe this is our first um, elevator across the sea. But once we get to the doorway, we need to do a grenade jump up and go around, completely around this building. Do not go inside. And um, yeah, just keep going around and eventually you will find, I believe there's some elites down here. But if you want an energy sword, feel free to kill them and then you get the sword. Now once we go inside the building and eventually we'll get to this next area with a massive profit hologram. In this area, you'll fight some grunts, bugs, elites, guardians, hunters. But in this room with the big hologram, right next... So if you look at the hologram, it's to the left side of him. But if you spawn in the area where you first enter, just go left. Mission 10, Sacred Icon. This can be very confusing, but all these areas are very similar to each other. But once you find some brutes on the ground... We don't kill brutes yet, but there will be some brutes on the ground, depending if you throw any grenades down this corridor. Well, if you happen to see the brutes, then you're in the right place. And if you're still unsure, it's always going to be on the left and at the very top section of this area. But eventually, we'll find the Arbiter toy. It's very hard to see because it's so dark in here, but it'll be in one of these cubby holes. So this one is quite a ways into the level. Once you go outside briefly, fight some flood and some sentinels. Once you drop down back into this flood type area, because it's like a foggy area, and you'll find a stack of boxes. During the fight, the boxes may disappear, or, or not disappear, but be blown away because of the flood are nearby. Or if you can do it and get lucky, you can actually jump on the boxes quickly before the flood hit the boxes out of the way. And now go all the way to the far right. And pick up the skull. So now the next thing we're going to do is the terminal. So once we drop down into the next area that leads to outside again. There won't be any enemies here. I don't know why I'm shooting for. But before we go down the next hole there will be a terminal. And of course, that platform I'm shooting at, or the switch, you can't miss it. You have to go down there. Number 11, quarantine zone. As soon as the mission starts, do a 180 and head back where we came from.
Now, once we're back in the original area that we came from, from the mission 10, do not go across the bridge to your right. If you just go straight on and use the lip of this side here and then go all the way around. And then the Sputnik skull will be located right here. So in this area, there will be a wraith. There will be two of them big, massive, sensible ships. But once you proceed on forward, if you look on the far right hand side, you will find a single flood running towards this tank. If you can get him fast enough before he gets on, then this is a free range to the tank. Of course, I'm using the Scarab Skull, but the, um, the Carbine does plenty of damage to kill the flood in time. There's only one flood that jumps in there. I haven't seen any more than one. But once you do it, you should jump in and then use the tank until the very end. And of course, you should get the achievement six pedals for directions. So once we go inside from a burning building on the outside. As we make our way in, we will find that there's some sentinels fighting the flood. To make your life a lot easier, don't shoot anyone. If we just want to go for the uh, terminal only, I just recommend it to go invisible because you're playing as Arbiter and grab the terminal like that. Well, since I had the Scarab gun, I thought I was a badass. I still died though. But the terminal is located on the bottom level, just to the right side. Making sure you enhance graphics so you can see the terminal. And now, pretty much near the very end of the mission, mission the level, once you've ridden the big massive elevator sequence where you fight all the flood, that keeps attacking you. Once you leave the elevator, go down the right path, and then you need to use a grenade jump. But if you're playing co-op, you can just jump on his head and do it that way. But if you're playing solo, you need grenade jump and grab the toy. Mission 12, and the tumor is called He's Running in Marathon. So for this one, we have to go into the original graphics during this cutscene. If for some reason you don't get the achievement, just make sure you keep switching in between just to make sure. But he only shows up in the original graphics. So for the next few achievements, they're all outside in this area. But I believe this is the first time you go outside. But once you go outside, you'll find many snipers. There's one to the left down the slope, and I think there's two to three in front of you somewhere. But the next few achievements, I think I already said this already, are in this area. So the terminal's in here, the skull, and the toy. All in the same area. So I'm not going to speak over throughout the whole lot, because I'll do it from the last location anyway. On the mission Uprising, this is mission 13. We will start from outside, we go inside, and then when you go through this door, there will be some more enemies in front of you. You may hear a, a grunt in this area speaking. But once you have all the enemies, just drop down and do a 180. You'll see the grunt being a coward in the corner. And then he will do some special dialogue to you. Just stay around here until he does it. And I did read up on this as well. The um, Apparently you need to kill all the enemies. 
prior to coming to this grunt to get the special dialogue. Shortly after the grunt, you'll come outside again. You'll get ambushed by many enemies. So now go to the upper platform or the upper ledge on the right side. You don't have to come exactly what I'm doing. You can do it a bit closer. So to get the librarian toy, we need to have the Sputnik skull activated. But if you're playing co-op, you don't need to. You just need one person to get up here and then he has to get it and you get the achievement as well. But if you're playing solo, then you need this skull activated. Now, after the long and treacherous walk or drive, depending on what you're doing, you'll get into this area. There'll be two wraiths in this area, just to be warned. But if you go to the upper platform there in front of us, there will be a terminal located in the middle section. Once again, you need to have the Sputnik skull activated. So go through this door here. You'll have to go through the door anyway. So you can't really miss it. But not this doorway or the hallway, sorry, but this is the next one we're going into. So this one right here, there will be a skull above the doorway we just came through. Of course, if you're doing co-op, you can jump on the head and jump up that way. But once again, if you're single player, you need to do the grenade jump. So this area we're going to see right now is very noticeable. So I don't have to explain exactly what we've done previously before this. Because this is the first of the second area that you're going to visit. So the toy will be located on top of that rock formation thing. So the second area. So if you happen to have gone too far, the second area, there'll be a wall to the right of you that's been destroyed and flood will come out from it. That's when you know you've gone way too far. So remember, this is the first area that we come to. So in this area, you'll get attacked by brutes and a lot of flood. But you'll notice that a door right in front of you, story later, can't be missed. And you'll find a energy sword directly in front in the middle platform. Just to the left, you will find your terminal 12. And now for the next thing, you can easily miss it. But if you do miss it, just reload checkpoint. But once you go into your next lab uh, lavatory, I gotta say, your next grav lift, if you hold the um, the E key or the interact button, whatever button you assigned it to, if you hold it down and you'll pick up the skull when you go through this lift. Now, mission 15 it is highly recommended that you save this particular vehicle. Do not blow it up. Save it. We're going to need it. Play on legendary mode as well. It's a pain in the ass, but we need to to get the skull. Eventually, once you go inside, and you'll find some hunters in the jail cell. In the top middle, on the right, you will find that there's a terminal located behind these bars. So as soon as I have the scarab skull activated, I didn't want to shoot it and kill people. 
or kill friendlies. And this should be your last terminal. And now, eventually, you will go outside and you'll be greeted by a massive scarab that is friendly and some banshees. So this is the, the vehicle that we saved. I kind of put it in the wrong place. We're going to need this vehicle. We need it. We don't want the Banshee, because Banshee, we only can get one specific item. We don't, we want to get both of them. So just to save you two playthroughs, or we do it in one playthrough. Trust me, it is a pain in the ass because the Banshees will blow this up. But eventually, once we get there, go into the water and just stay to the right. So our main objective is to get behind the building and go to the very top of the rocks, or the mountain, sorry. Go on to the highest mountain that there is. And then the skull is located on the back side of this building. You can freely walk up there, you don't need the vehicle. And that's where the next one is. And that is it for Halo 2. I won't be speaking no more, so just watch the rest of the video and I'll see you next time.